I am Jean Privatera, and I am very fortunate and lucky to be the principal here at Two Rivers Magnet Middle School. And on behalf of CREC and on behalf of Two Rivers, we want to welcome our guests here today. We are very happy to have um, this wonderful presentation happening at our school. And I guess at this point, I'd like to introduce Mr. Larson, who is president of LEGO and um, really quite a hero here at Two Rivers, since you can see in our classroom all of the LEGO work that we do in our exploratory science and robotics class and our LEGO League team. So um, you're quite the honored guest here at Two Rivers, so thank you for coming. Good. The LEGO Children uh, Fund was established in 2007 uh, with the aim of supporting uh, children uh, of the future, or to, uh, builders of tomorrow, as we call it, kids that are engaged in creativity uh, and using their imagination uh, to make sure that we have the builders of tomorrow, that people that will go to the Connecticut Science Center uh, and find inspiration in what they see uh, through uh, science te and technology. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, uh, it's a great honor to accept this. I'm Ted Sergi, the president of the Connecticut Science Center. Uh, we can't thank uh, the LEGO Children's Fund enough. Each of you like math and science a lot. That's why you're here today. Uh, we want to generate more interest in math, science, and engineering from all of your friends who are here today. And that's what the Connecticut Science Center hopes to do. It's all about innovating and doing things differently. So we really are very excited about working with LEGO. We're going to start a new challenge, uh, invent the future. Uh, trying to build things that people will think about 50 years from now. The purpose of the LEGO Children's Foundation was to support courses out there that help develop kids' imagination and creativity. What we see in the Connecticut Science Center is exactly that. I think kids will see an opportunity to develop creativity and imagination. They'll understand uh, science and technology, but for us, very importantly, in a fun way. We're going to challenge youngsters to build things that don't exist right now. Uh, and try to solve problems that we haven't been able to solve just yet, whether it relates to the environment, to human health, to transportation. Young people like we see here at Two River School spend time every day thinking of ways of solving today's problems, and LEGO's helped them do that. This is our LEGO League robot. <laughs> So why do you like Legos? Well, I like it because you have to do problem solving and you get to do hands-on. It's not like doing something on a computer where you just look at it. <laughs> Thank you very much. And it's a great honor to accept this. I'm Ted Sergi, the president of the Connecticut Science Center. Uh, we can't thank uh, the Lego Children's Fund enough. $100,000 is a lot of money. The toys and fun, but they really are, as the, as, the, as the company says, building blocks. And they show you the math and the science of what it takes to put a building up, build a bridge. These are things young people enjoy. They're, they find them both fun and educational. 